Hi, my name is Daniel Johns, and I just got a Google Home Mini. Let's make a wall mount for it. Let's get started. All right, so after using a contour gauge and a digital caliper, and a ruler, and a couple hours of 3D modeling. This is the design I've come up with so far. The printer that I'm gonna use is an MP Select Mini version two. So I'm gonna see if I can fit this in there. I'm using Cura to prepare my 3D file and do the slicing. I'm gonna see if there's a way in SketchUp to smooth the outer surface is a little bit so they don't look as geometric angular so they look smoother so I found this uh, soft and smooth edges in SketchUp we'll see if it does what I want I don't know that that soft and smooth edges is gonna really soften or smooth anything once I export it um, and bring it into Cura and then slice it but I'm gonna go ahead and see if this works see if the dimensions work out if the Google Home Mini fits in it, like I'm imagining. And, uh, all right, Cura uh, says it's gonna take six hours and 21 minutes to print. Um, I'm gonna guess it's gonna take nine hours. We'll see how it goes. This has been printing for a few hours, but um, I've noticed a few issues with the 3D model. That I need to fix. Um, one of them is causing or is, is keeping it from printing the hole for the screw and there's also some supports that were coming up on here pretty soon in the print that aren't going to be generated properly. Um, so I've already fixed those in the 3D model. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this print. Actually it's looking pretty good so I'm happy with that. Uh, I can see here it looks like the USB port is going to line up well, that's good, but the mute switch, the little hole that I had for the mute switch, isn't going to quite line up like I want it to. So that's a good thing I've canceled this print. I'll fix those issues in the model and try it again. That took a, a bit of time. Things are looking better in Cura. Um, I'm looking at the layer view. That gives me a much better idea of how each layer is actually going to print. So that's something that I'm going to keep in mind to do first next time. Eight hours. Not too bad. After testing this with a Google Home Mini, I don't think I need an entire top to hold the Mini in there. I think I can do better. As you can see, I've got a lot of design iterations here. The very first one, I was imagining having even like a lid on it like you put the mini in there and you put this lid on but then I thought ah oh, I don't know if that's necessary so then I did this version it takes more time than you might think just to adjust the little mute switch so then I did this version um, and it was the right placement and I actually have one of these hanging in the kitchen I thought you know what this is just a lot of plastic I probably don't need so this new version took 5 hours and 50 minutes to print. Let's see how it works. I take the brim off. Alright, so getting these supports out turned out to be a little bit harder than I expected. There we go. Now we need to see if it works, and if it does, I'm going to give this one to my friend James. The idea behind having a channel in the back like this is I could run the USB cable behind the mount. Now that it's smaller, it's not quite as tight in there. Probably shouldn't hang it on a ceiling, for instance. Maybe I shouldn't fix that. You know what? 
It's a wall mount, not a ceiling mount. I'm going to keep it this way for now. Although, you know, ceiling mount. Hmm. It's time to actually mount this sucker to the wall. I'm going to use number eight screws and anchors that I got from my local opulent wrench and everything store. Ah, the battery's dead. Abracadabra. Yay! Battery's alive again. For you youngins out there, I used to record on tape. I'm gonna adjust the design just a little bit, make it just a little bit tighter. Um, I think that will hold the mini even better. And I'm gonna print that one for James. I'm gonna copy what I currently have and then work on um, a new version of it. All I wanted to do was slide this towards the center by about half a millimeter. It's proving to be more difficult than I first thought. All right, so the way I moved it is I removed some faces, then I moved it along this center line, half a millimeter, and now I'm going to measure in half a millimeter here. That'll help me uh, replace the face that I removed on the back there. It's one nice thing about 3D printing. You can just let it print. Like You can be doing other things, living your life, and your printer's down there working, 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 working. Good printer. I'm going to export this again. All right, time to save to the removable drive. Ah, my fan's making noise. All right, we are done printing this latest version of the mini mount. It took five hours and 57 minutes to print. And let's try it out. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, snug as a bug in a rug. James, I'm gonna give you this one instead of the first one, the second, the, instead of the previous model, I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade you right now to this one. I'm going to call this project done. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. You can put a little face on it. Like wearing a helmet or maybe a mohawk and sideburns. You see it?